Hello again everyone, welcome back to RimWorld. Funny story, Ed's left. I didn't want to have to break it to you so abruptly, so brusquely, but... At the same time I didn't want to beat about the bush. Uh, funny, I said bush. Um, Ed's left town, and he's not coming back. He's dead. He's not dead! That was a mean thing to say, I'm joking. Look, the point, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that um, Ed's not going to be doing videos anymore. And he's going to be doing his own videos at some point in the future, but I am going to be continuing this RimWorld mission solo. I was considering doing a brand new one. You know, just start again, say screw it. Ed, you've had your chance. But, you know, we've, we've got somewhere on... We've got this one off to a semi-good start. Even though Ed's not around to teach me how to do combat properly, I also don't have to teach Ed how to do everything else properly. I mean, the last episode, it's been a while since I played, by the way. I tried to get Ed to do sort of a last hurrah, but he's been so busy trying to move out that it just turned out he never had the opportunity to do so. Reese has gone on a binge, which is exactly what you'd expect if you knew Reese. So I think we've named our people correctly. And in the previous episode, of course, Epon did die, which is a major shame. Marie, will you get rid of that? Please. Uh, but we have several people left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we shouldn't have just just shouldn't have bought the alcohol and then Reese would have been fine. Now, what do we need to do? We've got a poor mood in Marie, probably due to the fact that she is currently carrying this rotting corpse. Friend died experiencing acute pain. Let's have a look at your health. Permanent gunshot injury from a left eye. We might have to do something. <sighs> look, how is our... Let's pause this here and have a look at our people. We've got... And look at the medicine skill, because I want to maybe consider operating on Marie. <laughs> Marie is the person who you would get to operate. But if we don't do something about Marie's constant pain, Marie's going to be, you know, constantly stressed. We're going to have to do something excellent to improve her mood, right? If we can't get rid of this pain. And the reason, the only thing I can think of to do is to amputate the eye basically. I don't even know if that would work. I'm assuming it would. Now, some of these things, they're probably going to go away over time. You know, these three things will um, start to degrade. One season, four days is a long time, but these two are nearly gone. So Marie's mood will start going up, but we have to make sure that Marie doesn't go completely do lally in the meantime. It's going to be a problem. Marie, what are you doing? You're harvesting. Do you have green fingers? No. Does anybody? If we have green fingers, what we can do is... Did you hear that? I thought I heard a noise. Um, in real life. I thought I was being burgled, maybe. Who cares? Record. Uh, in, If someone has green fingers, then whenever they plant something, they'll get a mood boost. Which is great. Unfortunately, nobody does. And of course, we started brewing beer and immediately we binged. So, let's, um, let's put it on a little bit faster, see if... What are you doing? Not you. Sad Brad, what are you doing? Smoothing the floor. I mean, with all these improvements that we're making, we should slowly be able to improve just the, the general air, the, the, the environment, to make people slightly happier about the place that they're living in. But honestly, you know, I've been watching Avac play, and it's, it's educational to watch Avac play this game because he seems to be really good at it. But one thing I have noticed, that he has so many mods that allow you to build things that improve mood. And that's something that we really need, is a way of improving mood. Is this, is this cold here? It's refrigerated, but it's not actually cold. Let's remove some more degrees Celsius from that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to improve the mood right now using buildable things, because we don't have any art. We don't have anything that can be, you know, particularly attractive. This is a shoddy bed. This is a normal table. You know, we... Let's have a look at our characters. Colonist needs treatment. What is wrong with you? You've got, like, muscle power. Okay, fair enough. That's going to go away eventually on its own. Uh, excuse me. What? There's a... F Cobra just killed our monkey. Right. Cobra die. Reese, kill Cobra. <coughs> Ooh. Basis of working with a competent high tech research bench, comms calls, and other problems. Okay, okay, good. 
I mean, Emma, we might want you to do something besides research for a while. You are the best at research, and eventually that will be your full-time job. But for now... But for now... What's this? 12... 7... I'm going to switch these around. I want Sad Brad here to be making as much as possible. So constructing as much as possible. E.g. beds and furniture. I want Sad Brad there to be the person who puts together the furniture to give us the best chance of having furniture of good quality. The better the quality it is, the better the beauty it has. So this has beauty of 1, which is shit. But a normal one has beauty of 18. If you click down here... One of these is the beauty display. So when, wherever you point, if you stand here, then you will get all of these beauty stats will affect you. So you've got that chair there is a really nice chair, but that chair over there is absolute shite. Right? The batteries are minus 15 each, but the table itself is 21. Over here, Sad Brad's room is a bit shit, but eventually the smooth floor is worth three, but a wooden floor is worth literally zero. See that? Which is kind of irritating to basically everybody who plays the game because we're going, you know, wood floors are nice. My house is basically entirely wooden floor because we like it. We have to pay for wooden floor in real life. Um, so, that just shows you all the things you can do to improve the mood of this room. Like, it looks to me here like this bed is awful. It is awful. It is literally awful. This dining chair is normal and yet produced a minus one, which is interesting. Let's have a look at it. Information Beauty 11. Okay. Maybe it's the floor itself? Don't know. But again, if you just completely replace this floor with wood, at least you will completely neutralise the ground in terms of how badly it looks. So I think I want Sad Brad there to be building as much as possible. That will level up his skill. Yeah, fucking kill it. Yeah, you can go to bed. I don't care. And recruit. Uh, we need to get rid of this stuff. So basically what we want to do... Bagel is apparently a night owl, that's fine. We want to make... I kind of want to increase hauling and cleaning. Now, Bagel is only basically hauling cleaning. We haven't got anyone to warden. We're going to up that, just to try and get Bagel to do all that, that work, basically. Cargo pods, you say, it is scarab mute. Well, unforbidden, hope that Bagel, before they go off, goes to get them. It's quite a long way away. How are we doing on food? Let's take stock. It's been a while since i played. Apparently, the beer counts as food and therefore doesn't cause us to have the warning. So, it's <laughs> brilliant. We've got plenty of food. As long as you don't mind drinking liquid bread. What's this like? It is now minus three degrees, so this should be frozen, won't spoil. Perfect. So, you are just cooking? Just cooking. If we could get this rebuilt, that would be splendid. And, of course, eventually we're going to want to get the... Um, the research done to build geothermals, but that's quite a long way away, and I believe you probably need... yeah. You, oh, just a high-tech research bench. That's not actually that bad. We could get that done. What does it cost us? It's, it's very expensive. We need to think about maybe starting to mine. Mine out some steel, mine out some components if we can. There is compacted steel here. Of course, we could deconstruct this for some components, so let's do that. Anybody with the construction skill will get that done. Emma is already doing it, because Emma's on the case, unlike everybody else in this town. Get on with it, though. Let's speed up. Oh, we are, we're as fast as possible, so good luck with that. Bagel, are you doing your job? What's your... So your muscle power since you're a night owl in daytime. Haven't I told you to go to sleep? What time is it? 13. I mean... I assume this is good enough. Let's um, let's push this forward a bit. So two here. I want everyone to have joy at the same time, and the reason for that is that then they socialise with one another. So maybe I just leave this like this. Maybe I just force you to work all night because you are a pain in the ass, basically. What? When does daytime start? I'm going to put it here, basically. You get five hours of sleep when everyone else is working, just to ensure that you get the most amount of disturbed sleep, obviously. And I think 
one thing we can think about doing is splitting this room into two, making that into bedrooms, putting a corridor around it. Nah, no, because we're going to want to get rid of that. That was always intended that we... That was always temporary because of that poor mood in... Maybe. Okay. Need research project. We don't need to worry about that for now. We could build out here very happily, and I don't mind the idea of actually building a, a graveyard, a proper graveyard for for people to visit the graves in. Because if we can have a, a beauteous area where people go to visit graves, then when they do visit a grave, they will also get the benefit of being in that place. You, I know about your health. I want your thingy. Like this is the best we're going to get. This rotting corpse thing. Excuse me. Where is it? So another one. Maybe that's the previous one, but I have a funny feeling that it's been refreshed recently. Marie, where are you? I wonder where you've been recently. Is it this? It might be this. Let's have a look. If this goes back... Nice. Uh, it's moving. Mm, we'll see what happens. But yeah, we need to start building nicer places. We could make another bedroom here out of this section and then remove this section when we build the geothermal, that could work. In fact, I might actually do that right now. Let's have a look at what um, what we can build out of. Uh, hmm, oh, we have got a lot of slate blocks, so we must have set up a slate industry. Did we make up a stone cutting table? Yes, excellent. So we'll make some slate, no, slate. I mean, like, before we decide, let's have a look at the beauty of these things. Not telling me, no? Fair enough then. Uh, I wonder, basically, whether limestone had more or less beauty per block than slate. Because if we made internal walls out of something, we have something weaker, basically. And it looked nicer. That seems to be like a win-win situation. Uh, actually, this is not going to be the stockpile. Let's copy it and then delete it. And then we'll make a new stockpile. Stockpile zone here. And we will paste the settings there. And then this is going to be a bedroom, but we're going to have to pull all that stuff out of there. I, w I want this to not be a bedroom anymore, because Shorty's probably going to be... Um... Oh, sh actually, Shorty doesn't give a toss. I mean, in that case, he's not even complaining about a hideous environment or uh, a cramped environment. Are you, like, ascetic or something? No. Heat tolerant is actually pretty good, though. Obviously, Marie was hot earlier. Let's uh, continue. Yeah, do that. Good job. <laughs> That's what you're here for. So Bagel's working all night and is not complaining about it because... Joy deprived. I mean, you can do your joy whenever you want to. You're sick. Ugly environment will eventually pass as we improve this place. But then we can delete this sort of corner at least, if not the whole zone. Build a box around this and maybe expand further. We need to think about defences because recently this was not good enough. And people attack from here, but that's kind of okay. Because one thing we can do... So I've been learning. If you attack from a dark place... So let's have, this is dark 0%. This is a perfect place because if you're standing here, it's completely dark. You have a maximum benefit sort of against you in your favour because people who are attacking you can't see you. Um, and if you put them out here, because they're going to want to basically congregate here. So what we should do... Here's my idea. If we mine out these, that gets rid of all the cover that they would naturally try to use if they came in from here. Now, ideally, we just build a wall across there, right? But they may drop in. Or just try and beat through the wall, because that's probably going to be the only thing they can do, is to try and beat through the wall if they spawn there. And they might set fire to it, etc. It's not ideal. But what we can do is set up a, a space... If you watch Avax stream, you'll see what I'm thinking about. If we set up a space where they will take cover, sort of in a staggered pattern like this. Then we can shoot them from our own cover. I mean, this might be too close, but you get the idea. Let's remove those plants. So I'm thinking, this is a way out, obviously. Then we have a sort of a corridor, which will be roofed. And we have, we don't even need a back wall necessarily. Um, then we have sort of a an area like this. This this seems to work really well. This sort of knight's move setup of 
of blocks. If we put walls here, maybe we do need to wall it in. Simply so that A, they can't come around the back here. Let's, um, let's think about this. Yeah? But if we completely wall it in to begin with, we can cover it with a roof. This will be dark. This will be light. So we will be attacking from basically here. So we should remove these plants. In fact, we should probably deconstruct these. That's going to be the first thing I do, simply because it gains us material. Then... This will be three here, and then a sandbag, and then we start with the steppy thing here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. That seems to work. Five here, maybe a gap in the middle to poke through. And then over here... Now, the difficulty is we put this out here. And what at some point we're going to want to do is make sure that that is only accessible from this direction. Some components to mine as well. So eventually we'll dig through here, and then all this will be internal, and they'll try and attack us in that direction. But for now, that's okay that we don't have that. Because what I'm expecting them to do is go for us because we're standing there vulnerable and then they will try to attack us. That is the plan. If it works out. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting sandbags like this and maybe a wall here to encourage them to use it. And then a wall here. Because this wall will eventually go round. So this will be entirely enclosed, eventually. Maybe coming up to here. And then that'll be the way into our greenhouse. That'll be the middle, actually. So here and one, two, five. So yeah, so that's the center. So corridor will be those three blocks there. Yeah. So, but for now, we're not going to build that because it's expensive and it will take time. Is that a bad idea? Should I just go ahead and do that? Maybe I should. But there's a grave there. We'll have to deconstruct it. It's awful grave. How have you managed to do that? Let's um, let's be okay with that. There's graves over here, actually, so we could empty that one and put them over here if we wanted to. But it, I mean, for now, not really going to think about that. Let's, let's unpause because I actually want stuff to get done this episode. Yeah, you know, before we all... Atrophy. So they're going to remove those for us. Maybe I shouldn't have removed those two pieces of block, but who really cares? How is everyone's mood doing? Needs. Friend died is fine. I'm just looking for things like uh, observed corpse and that sort of thing. Tattered apparel is a problem. Ugly environment is kind of a problem. So my friend died is the main problem here. That'll be Epon. We haven't got any components, apparently. We have built this, though, which is great, but we can't fix this, so we need to... Let's, um, whilst we're mining, we might as well mine this out, because we need to anyway. Holy crap. Plenty of food. The reason I want to deal with this... Bagel. Serious. <laughs> How long does it take? Beavers! Oh, shit. Um, the reason I want to deal with... Blocking that in is that some enemies will try and set fire to it. Which will be a problem because there's so much foliage around here that the fire will just completely spread. Now, our base is happily got a layer of this stone around it. So anything one sets trying anyone that tries to set fire to this, the fire will be somewhat thwarted by the massive amounts of rock we have, but I'd rather that it didn't set fire to our food at all, if entirely possible. So eventually Bagel will finish um Hauling over there. Now, we need someone who is good at shooting, which is going to be fucking Bagel, of course. Uh, Sad Brad. I think I might let you, might you do it. Yeah, Sad Brad. I will let you finish carrying that meal there. And then I will recruit you to stop you from doing that. Make sure that that drops in there, basically. And you can come over here and start shooting beavers. Try not to shoot the... Wait, where's your gun? For Christ's sake. You need a gun. Bagel. Gear. Drop. Sad Brad. Equip. Luckily, they're not aggro, so we don't have to worry too much about how long this takes, but uh, not not a great idea. Sad Brad? Who's in the poor mood? Is it Brad? Nope. Then I don't care. Go over here. Shoot the fucking beavers. 
This um, circle, by the way, is what happens if you start to fire. Press B here. It gives you a range indicator. It's quite how long their uh, range is. Come on. I mean, I know you've only got 11 and it's a inaccurate weapon. Oh, wait. It's a really accurate fucking weapon. Deal with the beavers. Could just throw a grenade at them. Come on. Spend all day on it. News treatment. Oh, okay. That's bagels, muscle parasites. We don't need to worry about that. You've accidentally killed the wrong one, but I'm okay with it. In a minute, I'll let you go. Very, uh, coming very close to the time when he needs rest. If you could kill this beaver, I would let you leave. Good enough. He was getting a bit pissed off from having been, um, drafted for so long, but that's fine. Meanwhile, we'll set up an order to build a... Let's might as well start building double beds. If we're going to have Sad Brad doing it... In fact... I'm going to turn it off for these people. The problem with construction is there's two types. There's one that doesn't matter. It just takes longer if you have a low skill. And there's one that does matter. You get a shit thing if you have low skill. I'm going to uh, turn hunting off. In the same vein as how Avak does it, you just pick the person who you most currently want to do the work and you recruit them and you get them to go and shoot stuff. Um, that's a little bit better than, you know, setting up a hunting job and hoping that they get around to it. We should unforbid these as well, try and see if uh, we can get Bagel who is, yeah, actually about to do it, which is perfect. We get a little bit more food and it's in a good way because we had to kill these things anyway. It means we don't have to go out and specifically what are you doing. Uh, no, don't do that. Recruit. Because we're already shooting these anyway. Ooh. Brad's, Brad's got the flu. I hate you. <laughs> right, go to bed. When you get there, drop this. Drop. Bagel. You're asleep, you fucking dick. When Bagel wakes up during the night, you can go and shoot the sleeping beavers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These people suck so very much. Emma was hauling just now. Did you notice? Or was it Marie? I think Marie was hauling. Another battery's broken down, which is a major problem. We don't have any... Emma's actually getting some fucking components right now, which is amazing, because we don't have any. We need to use them to fix these. Marie was hauling, which is great. And we have plenty of food coming in right now. So we just need basically to wait for the bagel to wake up and we can deal with our beaver problem. Don't we all have a beaver problem, huh? So in the future, at some point we'll get this built, but I think for now, I'm kind of being a little bit complacent about the idea that maybe we're not gonna be attacked. Maybe I'll build another turret over here for now. I haven't got enough steel. I don't really fancy... Setting up another mining job, at least not one so far away, because there's... Even though we've picked a place where we can grow all the time, it does come with its own dangers vis-a-vis -vis all these aggro animals that will try and eat us. I'm going to assume this goes a bit further back and dig even more out. Bagel, are you awake yet? Carrying beer, relaxing socially. Yeah, that's Bagel. I'll let you pick up all of those, because that's good. Who's on a binge now? Marie's on a binge. And then I will recruit you. Make you carry this weapon, and then you can come down here, find our beavers. Where have our beavers ended up? They're over here. Fine. Uh, you can be here. Uh, I guess you could be here. Kill this beaver. Luckily, this horrific amount of noise that Bagel's making while completely failing to shoot this fucking beaver in the face. Seriously? Isn't waking anything up, but uh, of course... I've actually uh, done some damage to it. Everything's woken up. Happily, they're not themselves very aggro. Seriously, you have got one of the best... Let's have a look at this. If we select Bagel and point at this. So, we've got 1% chance to shoot because it's dark, basically. So if we get closer... How about now? 12%. So that does actually make a difference, which is pretty interesting. And then we go over here. And then as we um, 
As we come into the daytime, you see that the darkness goes away. 22, 27. Now it's lit. I have to select bagel, point at it, hover over it, still shit at it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Shooter at 3%, target size 60%. No cover. So, uh, nope. Basically, it doesn't matter how good a shot you are, the beaver's too small to hit it properly. Which is a thing, I guess. You're gonna bleed out? Yeah, keep shooting it though. Gonna go and uh, see its fellows. Let's unforbid these and hope that someone comes to get them. Keep shooting. Shoot the sleeping one. Over here. Shoot the sleeping one. Who's in a poor mood? Brad, Sad, Brad, and Bagel. Sad Brad is probably sad because he's sick and everything else. But Bagel is probably just pissed off with the fact that I'm recruiting him for so long. Needs. Hungry. Well, if you can shoot this fucking thing from point blank range whilst it's asleep, I'll let you go. There we go. Keep killing that. Excuse me. Bagel. Punch it. Good. You can go. Let's pick up this. And you can... Bagel. Haul that. Since you're going back anyway for some food, you might as well haul the thing that will be the food in future. Terrible mood. Bagel. You can eat now. The trouble is having so few constructors all of a sudden because I've turned it down to make sure that this gets built. Yeah, we need some wood though. Let's, um, let's get some. There we go. Let's get more than that. I mean, the beavers ate a lot of it, but there's plenty here. Uh, we now have so few people doing construction that it's not happening. I mean, the, the floor smoothing is not happening. What are you doing instead? You, what are you doing? Sleeping. Doesn't count. I've got two people on... Um, cutting of... Of growing. We've got two people growing. 10, 8. I'm going to turn this down for Marie. See if Marie will start mining and hauling a bit more often. We only really need one person to tend all these crops right now. And it's going to be Reese. And then after that, Reese can mine if there's nothing left to do. But I just need... Do you know what? If I turn this down and then ease down, that'll make more sense, wouldn't it? And then construct can be a 4 for Bagel. And if we ever need wardening happening, we can warden, but, you know, we've got <laughs> such a lame place. I mean, we want to build a lot more furniture. We want everyone's bedroom to have a decent bed in it. We want everyone's bedroom to have a table and whatever else we can have in here, like a nice armchair or something like that. Maybe a lamp. But currently they've just got the bed, which doesn't improve their mood in any respect. And their beds themselves are shoddy as all hell, because we didn't get our best person to make them. And even our best person to make them right now, not that likely to actually make a, a a stupendously good one. Bagel is currently... How's your mood, Bagel? Because there was beavers to kill. We need to wait till it's light, though, which is a shame. Uh, needs. Sick. Well, you shouldn't have contracted whatever you contracted. We need to get tailoring going as well at some point, which is probably easier said than done. This place is full. Which is an issue. Because it was in there as well, but we haven't built it. Of course, Sad Brad isn't doing the thing. Bagel needs treatment, so... Hopefully, Marie will get on that. Marie, where are you at? Wake up. Okay, good. Uh, no, no, no. Shorty's doing it. I mean, maybe we should turn these down for everyone. Because if Marie's okay, Marie will do all the doctoring as a like first priority once she's not hungry. Someone needs to clean as well. Who? <laughs> Bagel, you'll clean, then haul. Okay. Right, let's do that. Reese is already cleaning, which is Pretty sweet, but every time something needs doing, Reese is going to run off and do it, so things are not going to get cleaned quite as quickly as maybe I'd like. 
which means that our main hauler is going to be Marie. Which doesn't seem to fill me full of confidence for some reason. Let's do this. There's going to be so much to do all the time. We need more people, which means we need that the people who do attack us to not die or win. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Uh, let's get Sad Brad. How are you? You're still resting. Bagel. Sorry, you're being recruited. We've got more beavers, and honestly, I don't want them. There's only one left, actually. Is there only one left? Kill that. Maybe we should take someone who's good at melee and just punch him. Stab him to death. That was the closest you could ever be to a squirrel, to a beaver, and you still missed it. Okay, good. Fire. Mad animal. A local boomalope has gone mad. This is bad times. Bagel. Get over here. Post haste. Good. <laughs> you've, uh, you, you've, you've aggroed it in the best possible way. Uh, who is a Malay unit? You are also a Malay unit, but you don't have a Malay thingy. Why don't Shorty, you go and get something stabby? Yes. We're trying to get Bagel to run away here, but... Run away now? Shorty, recruit you. Go over here. Now, if I can get Shorty to just aggro this thing. Uh, okay. Deal with that. Get over here. Shorty, stab this. We just need Shorty to stab it. And then it'll attack Shorty, right? And then we run away with Shorty. We kite it around. Don't shoot Bagel, you fucking dick. You, rescue Bagel immediately. <laughs> you know, we have to make sure that we don't accidentally shoot Shorty. And it being a boomalope. This could be bad times, but uh no, let's keep it let's keep it nice and slow, shall we? Please, Brad. Get the fucking thing. Sad Brad, you dick. Come on now. Don't stop moving. Can't you hear the music? DJ's got us going around. Round. Round. Can someone fix this, please? Uh, now we hope that we don't shoot Shorty. Good job. <laughs> Naturally, we would obviously shoot Shorty at the very moment when it's a bad idea to shoot Shorty. Which is always, to be fair, but you know, uh, I feel like it's extremely likely that we actually, actually hit something when it's not the thing we want to hit. There we go. Right, Shorty, you can be unrecruited. Uh, you can be unrecruited. And now it needs to rain. It needs to rain very much. Very much now. Everyone get up and deal with the fire. Even you. Marie is not a firefighter. Very well. Bagel, are you a firefighter? No, you can't do shit. Then Marie, why don't you fucking deal with Bagel? Jeez Louise. So this is what happens normally when raiders come along and try and set fire to your shit. I mean, honestly, we could just hope that it burns itself out before it gets to our base, but I don't think that's a good idea, because this is all our medicine right now. It's entirely possible that our, our colonists catch fire right now, which is also a, obviously a problem. I don't know if we can beat this fire, is the problem. That was a bigger explosion than I anticipated. It is raining! That is absolutely perfect. Why does that sometimes happen? I I can't complain, but at the same time... Why is no one a holler? <laughs> deal with it. Don't need this anymore. Poor mood. Well, everyone can do what they need to do now. What a perfect time for rain. I mean, we can kind of rely on rain in this environment because it's a rain, rainforest, but I mean, I had to say we can rely on the rain. We can expect it eventually. Is this shit going to be hauled in or not? No, but it's never going to spoil, so who cares? And then eventually Bagel will come back and be our, uh, uh, excuse me, what is that noise? Okie dokie. There's a cougar out there which is going to be hungry when it's eating everything else, but as long as we're not near it when it's hungry. We should be fine. Well, this seems like a good time to call the end of this episode. 
Uh, we'll see if we can actually get some progress done in the next one without being attacked by fucking beavers. Maybe someone will cut these trees for us at some point. But until the next episode, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll be joining me for the next one. And I'll see you then.